and we are ready. The scene is looking really good. Now that we've reached the end of Expedition 56, we want to thank our teams on the ground in Houston, Huntsville, Munich, Scuba, and Moscow. Thanks to those who have trained us and those who have supported us while in space. With over 350 investigations credited to the expedition, we should all be proud of our accomplishments together. We would also all like to thank our families for supporting us throughout this great adventure. Without their love and support, none of us would be here today. Alex, as we transition to Expedition 56 or 57, <laughs> I want to thank you and uh, the crew for your support of my command. I would also like to offer you something to remember uh, the bond that we both share as geophysicists. This is an anorthosite phenocryst from Mount Erebus in Antarctica. I know that you have many of these and some have flown in space, but surely not one given by a fellow geophysicist and fellow ISS commander while actually in space. So congratulations. Nice. I would also like to share with you uh, this medallion representing Expedition 56 with its symbol of peace signifying the international cooperation in space of, of ISS. Best of luck to you and your crew during your command of Expedition 57. May it prove to be both interesting and positively exciting. <laughs> thanks, Drew, for the kind words. Um, thanks for being a great crew to all of you. Uh, Ricky, Oleg, thanks for 1,850 orbits of friendship and uh, great achievements together. Thanks, Drew, for being a, a true leader, a great leader. It was an honor to serve under your command and it was fun at the same time. Together we achieved a lot. We, uh, <laughs> well, we grew plants in space, we mixed concrete, uh, we uh, tested cancer meds, we grew protein crystals, we checked out granulates, we uh, measured the Earth's magnetic field, uh, we uh, generated a Bose-Einstein condensate, we tested metal alloys and uh, many, many more things. So uh, thanks for that. And with that, I would like to actually take a, a step back uh, to acknowledge where we are right now. Uh, this looks like uh, routine uh, to us maybe by now a little bit, but uh, we are actually on a space station in space, uh, falling in free fall around a planet. Um, if you are younger than 18 years, uh, anybody down there on this planet, then you have lived every day of your life with some human being in space every single day. Uh, continued presence on orbit on this fantastic ship. And if you uh, add the, the space station mirror before that, that's uh, 30 years of almost uninterrupted human presence in space. Uh, that is amazing. Uh, there's 7 billion humans down there. And uh, you sent uh, six of us up here. Uh, we're from three different continents. We are friends. And we are here for you. We are your eyes looking down on this beautiful planet. We see things that would otherwise remain unseen. Some good, some bad, and some uh, even alarming. There was a time when this project, the ISS, was just a crazy, seemingly crazy dream by some visionaries. Uh, the realists said this could not be done. Uh, but more and more people understood the meaning of this project and stood on the optimist side and uh, look where we are. We are here in uh, the most complex machine that humanity has ever built and uh, it's there for you, for you, the humans 
of planet Earth. But this didn't happen by itself. Human hands have built this. Every little bolt, every little cable, everything has been built by a human hand. More than 100,000 people uh, from uh, countless countries have built this ship. Uh, more than 100 nations, 100 nations have conducted scientific experiments up here. Uh, I think more than 3,000 altogether in the life of the station so far. And in light of this, I want to make clear that I'm not a German commander. I'm not a European commander. I will be leading this ship uh, together with my fantastic crew, Sergei and Serena, uh, and soon uh, three more as humans from planet Earth. And we're floating on the shoulders of giants. I want to also make sure that we're not only conducting scientific experiments for Earth, we also look beyond our horizons. We fly beyond our horizons. ISS is a ship uh, much like the Explorer ship of the well, last centuries. Uh, we fly the equivalent distance from the Earth to the Moon in about half a day. So uh, you can see this as uh, the first generations of fish that leave the homely ocean of Earth to venture out into space to open the age of space exploration. And we're just really at the beginning of this. The next generation will set their feet on Mars. Well, with that, I uh, want to wish my friends and crewmates, uh, Oleg, Ricky, and Drew, a fantastic ride home and a soft landing safe landing you are and i know that you're dearly missed down there on earth and you will be i also know that dearly missed up here in space in recognition of the change of command from expedition 56 to 57 alex i offer you this symbolic hatch tool key to the iss take a look at it <laughs> may she fly steady for you now and into the future I hereby relinquish command of the International Space Station to you, Alex Gers of the European Space Agency. Thank you, Drew. I herewith accept command of the International Space Station Expedition 57. Thanks, everybody down there in the control centers. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks for making this possible. This is really an amazing machine. Thank you to each of you. The uh, change of command ceremony is a formal passing of responsibility, authority, and accountability of command from one leader into another. As Expedition 56 wraps up its final hours, Voice, Drew Foistel, we celebrate your accomplishments. And for all of you, you are trailblazers for humanity and an inspiration for innovators, dreamers, and scientists for all. And Alex, I look forward to your representation of all people and all the fish and animals and everyone here on Earth and all that we represent. Here, here. Thank you, Houston, and all the control centers around the world. <laughs>